Oh, Elaine with Elaine's custom cards. This is the second attempt to make this card for you because the first video kept getting blurry, so hopefully this one won't. Um, anyway, this is my fourth paper pumpkin alternative and the final one for March 2020. This one turned out really cute, so let's get started. My card base is the silver foil edged card, and then there's envelopes to match. And that's on page uh, 168 in the annual catalog, item number 147900. Then I have a piece of So Saffron, 5 and 1 8 by 3 and 7 8 that we're going to glue to the front of the card. Let's see if we can get through this video without being blurry. I'll try to keep an eye on it. The last one was terrible. Couldn't, couldn't watch half of it because it was so blurry. And I didn't want to upload a blurry video. So let's try this again. And this is a card base. One of the card fronts that I trimmed down here and here down to four and three fourths by three and a half. And then I stamped it with one of the stamps from the paper pumpkin no matter the weather we're in this together I thought it was really a really cute card so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this to the front of our card I didn't stamp the inside of this because I don't know what I want to put on the inside um, so I left it blank for now Okay, then we're going to take a pair of the boots that was in the paper pumpkin and the flowers. And then I punched this um, uh, umbrella out of the, under my umbrella, or it's called um, Please Dis Punch DSP, and there's all different umbrellas. And that you can purchase that in, through um, tomorrow is the last day. Put a little bit of glue on the back of this because I'm going to um, attach it to my boots and then we're going to put um, dimensionals on the back of this as soon as I put my little go not gophers um, groundhogs I think is what they are gophers look different these look like little groundhogs and this these are from a celebration item and it's the gangs all mirror and it's fifty dollar purchase you can get that for free through tomorrow tomorrow's the last day for celebration items so we're going to put our little groundhogs there and we're going to put Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of this. And I stamped this. Maybe I said that already. I stamped that with the uh, Paper Pumpkin stamp set. I stamped my little groundhogs with um, Memento Black ink. And colored them with the Light Soft Suede Stampin' Blends. I didn't really blend anything, I just stamped them. So we're going to put quite a few on here because I don't want it to collapse. And then we're going to take some mini ones and put behind one behind each of these guys' heads because I don't want them to get saggy. And I'm going to put a small one right there. And then I'm going to put the larger ones behind the umbrella. I want to remind you tomorrow's the last day for celebration. $50 purchase gets you a free item out of celebration. This is one of them. Plus as a thank you for ordering on my website. $50 purchase before shipping and tax gets you a set of the basic rhinestones for free and that's good till Tomorrow's the last day on that. And then April 1st starts the um, Ornate Garden Suite that you can purchase as a customer. If 
You want to purchase it before that and make it part of your um, kit. You can go to my website, Elaine Dotson dot Stampin' Up. Sign up as a demonstrator, and that can be part of your starter kit. Ninety nine dollars, one hundred and twenty five dollars worth of product. The little mini trimmer, free stamp set, and a packet of six by six paper. I'm going to cut the tip of this off because I don't want it showing. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it right here behind behind this little groundhog and have it stick to the back of that or to that dimensional. I just don't want the end of that showing. Loop it down a little bit. You can cut more of that off if you want. I just that's probably good. And then we're gonna hear this to the center of the front of the card. Like so. We're going to take our umbrella I thought this was really cute. I hope we're staying in focus. The last video half of it was out of focus and I wasn't looking at it and noticed it after and I'm going Ugh. fortunately I still had some of this left so I could record it again for you. And then the raindrops were right here. Hmm. Oh, there they are. Hiding. We're going to put raindrops on here. Put one up here. I'm going to put some on the umbrella. There's different umbrellas in that Please Just Punched paper. I just like this one with the flowers on it. And then I'm going to put one here. And one over here. And that's your card. Very easy card. Now I have three of them. I thought they were really cute. I hope you like this video. Um, I would love to have you as a customer or part of my team. I'm working on my blog. It may take a little while. It's a work in progress. I've got it started and there's a little down arrow so you can go to it if you want. Just go to the little down arrow and there's a link to the blog. And I'm going to start posting pictures of some of the projects and then directions. So, um, I think, did I tell you I stamped this in Memento Black ink? And that's what I stamped them in. Anyway, you have a blessed day and have fun stamping. Please like my video and subscribe.